Bhagavan Pedro thus established the commonwealth of the Orthodox, save the Orthodox Christians and grant them the living pictures in heaven without a big courtyard and not the blessed one. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. 
For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in my neighbor I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness, let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become thy helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved up to thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help thee. But as for these, in vain, if they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, every one shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath leaped after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thine hand. They lay me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows has brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth and thy destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath built. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, not suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days, or as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. 
For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, and hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled. I remembered days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsted after thee like a waterless land. Make me hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, when thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall leave me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cover all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Let us 
take hold of weapon and shield and arise unto my help, draw the sword and set the way against them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them that seek my soul be shamed and confounded. Let them be turned back and be utterly put to shame, they that devise evils against me. Let them become as dust before the face of the wind and angel of the Lord also afflicting them. Let their way become darkness and a sliding and angel of the Lord also pursuing them. For without cause have they secretly prepared for me destruction in their snare. Without reason have they cast reproach on my soul. Let a snare come upon him which he knoweth not. And let the trap which he hath hidden catch him and into that same snare let him fall. But my soul shall rejoice in the Lord and shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, O Lord, who is like unto thee, delivering the beggar from the hand of them that are stronger than he, yea, poor man and pauper from them that despoil him. Unjust witnesses rose up against me, things I knew not they asked me. They repaid me with evil things for good and barrenness for my soul. But as for me, when they troubled me, I put on sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer shall return to my bosom. As though it had been a neighbor, as though it had been our brother, so sought I to please. As one morning in sad of countenance, so humbled I myself. Yet against me they rejoiced and gathered together, scourges were gathered together upon me, and I knew it not. They were rent asunder, yet not pricked at heart. They tempted me, they mocked me with mockery, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. O Lord, when wilt thou look upon me, deliver my soul from their evil doing, even this only begotten one of mine from the lions. I will confess thee in the great congregation among the mighty people will I praise thee. Let not them rejoice against me that unjustly are my enemies. They that hate me without a cause and wink with their eyes. For peaceably indeed they spake unto me, but in their wrath they were devising deceits. And they opened wide their mouth against me. They said, Well done, well done, our eyes have seen it. Thou hast seen it, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord. Depart not from me. Arise, O Lord, and be attentive unto my judgment, my God and my Lord, and unto my cause. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, O Lord, my God. Let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, Well done, well done, our soul. Let them not say, We have swallowed them up. Let them be shamed and confounded together, who rejoice in my woes. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion, who speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad, who desire the righteousness of my cause. And let them that desire the peace of thy servant say continually, The Lord be magnified, and my tongue shall treat of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. The transgressor that he may sin saith to himself that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he hath brought craftiness before him, lest he should find his iniquity and hate it. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath not will to understand how to do good. Iniquity hath he devised upon his bed. He hath set himself in every way that is not good and evil hath he not afford. O Lord, thy mercy is in heaven and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is as the mountains of God. Thy judgments are a great abyss. Men and beasts wilt thou save, O Lord. How thou hast multiplied thy mercy, O God. Let the sons of men hope in the shelter of thy wings. They shall be drunken with the fatness of thy house. And of the torrent of thy delight shalt thou make them to drink. For in thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee and thy righteousness unto the upright of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor let the hand of sinner wound me. Yonder be fallen all they that work iniquity. They are cast out and shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. And again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
It is good for us to make here three groups, one for Moses, one for Elias, and one for thee, Christ our Master. For thou for this then shine forth thy light upon them, illumine their souls. Thou wouldest, 
and thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and bear thee when thou wouldst not. This faith he signified by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. Then Peter turned about, and see if the disciple whom Jesus loved follow him, which also leaned on his breast and suffered and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter seeing him, saith to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then with this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die, that Jesus said unto, said not unto him, He shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they should be written every one, I suppose that in the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen.
Save, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the word of Orthodox Christians and send out upon us thine abundant mercies. Through the intercessions of our Immaculate Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the mediations of the honorable heavenly bodiless hosts, of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of the holy apostle Matthias, and the other holy glorious and all praised apostles, of our fathers among the saints and great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mira and Lycia, the Holy Equals of the Apostles, Magodius <laughs> and Kirill, teachers of the Slavs, of the Holy Right Believing and Equal of the Apostles, Great Prince Vladimir, and the Blessed Great Princess of Russia, Olga, of our fathers among the saints, the wonder workers of all Russia, Michael, Peter, Alexis, Jonah, Philip, Macarius, Demetrius, Mitrofanti, Count Theodosius, the Oasaf, Gamergan, Peter, Reminiscent, and John, of the holy higher martyrs and confessors, Deacon, Patriarch of Moscow, the Demir of Kiev, Benjamin and Joseph of Petrograd, Peter of Kritica, Kirill of Kazan, Agathago of Yaroslavl, Andronicus of Perm, Gamergan of Tobolsk, the priest John, John, Peter of Philosoph, and all the new higher martyrs and confessors of the Russian Church, of the holy, glorious, victorious martyrs, the holy, glorious, great martyr, trophy bearer, and wonder worker George, the holy, great martyr, and healer Pontelaman, the holy, great martyr Barbara, and the holy, right believing Russian princes and passion bearers, Boris and Glab and Igor, and the holy, right believing passion bearers, our martyr Nicholas, the Ritsa martyr Alexandra, the martyred crown prince Alexis and the royal martyrs Volga, Tatiana, Maria, and Anastasia, and the holy nun martyrs Grand Duchess Elizabeth and Nun Barbara, and all the new martyrs of Russia, of our holy and God-bearing fathers Anthony and Theodosius of the Kiev Cave, Sergius Abbot of Radanaj and Seraphim of Sarov, Job Abbot and Wonder Worker of Pachayev of the holy righteous John of Kronstadt, of the Holy Blessed Sanya, of our Holy and God-bearing Fathers, Herman of Alaska, Paisis Delch Popstein, Leo Macarius, Ambrose, and the other elders of Optina, the Hierarchs and Ascent of Moscow, Nicholas of Japan, John of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the righteous an uh, and the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna and of all the saints, we pray thee, O Lord, plenteous in mercy, Hearken unto us sinners that pray unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy, compassion, love for mankind, and love for the gods of the sun, with the Lord's plans, get thy most holy good and thy giving spirit. Now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> the people of Israel, having fled across the watery deep of the Red Sea, with cry, shall be. Behold, in the mounted captains of the enemy drowned therein, sang with kindness. Let us chant unto our God, for he hath been glorified. Instruction concerning that which is divine, Christ said to his friends, Recognize the Father in me, for I can live but a fruitful life, and the joy of those who cannot let us sing unto our God, we have been glorified. O holy apostle of Christ, Matthias, pray to God for us. O Matthias, bestow thou a beam of salvation from heaven upon me, who now in thy radiant festival with whom I pray. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Submitting to the laws of the Master, O Blessed One, with thy tongue as, it, as with the net, thou dost draw the ends of the earth <coughs> forth from the abyss of ignorance, both now and in the ages of ages. Amen. In his goodness, the all divine word saveth all of me, for he desires to become incarnate in thy womb, O pure Mother of God. The powers of mighty ends become weak, and the strength of subdued in themselves with power. Wherefore my heart is established in the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, 
exhorted to be, having put on all of that and then transformed the nature which of old had become dark, thou didst illuminate it with the transformation of thy appearance, and didst render it divine of Christ. O holy apostle of Christ, Matthias, pray to God for us, and strengthened by the hand of the altar of life, O wise one, thou wast able to snatch away the spoils of the mighty one, and enslave him by grace. Loving the teacher and serving him industriously, a right wondrous one, thou savest man from deception. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the all-accomplishing Spirit chose thee, O divinely eloquent one, to fill the twelfth place in the holy choir of the, of the disciples, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages on them. Possessed of thine aid, O pure one, I fear not the assaults of wicked enemies. Having thee as an intercessor, I vanquish the Lord's thereof. The Lord the mighty is become weak, and the strength is separate in themselves with power. Wherefore my heart is established in the Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us from God by thy glory. Stony hearts, O glorious one, sowing piety and the knowledge of the truth, 
both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O vessel of virginity and habitation of the infinite being, illumine my soul which hath been darkened by many passions. O Christ, who separated the primal life from light, that thy works may give thee the creator in life, direct thou our paths in thy life. With the adoration of thee, the mountains of man and self, for thy face, for thou wast brought to me to accept the iron before. The rising heavenly rays which the sun came and laid at thy feet, and when the apostle of Christ the highest fitting offer us, the true vine put thee forth as a most fruitful branch, producing the grapes that exude the wine of salvation, and giving thereof a blessed one, we who are held fast by ignorance, have cast off the drunkenness of delusion, void to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, thou wast cast into the world as divine soul, the blessed in all trees, possible plants, cleansing away the corruption of falsehood with sweet doctrines, driving away sickness and healing the wounds of body and soul, or now and in the days of the Amen. By thine all fear, but get in the religion right of God, Adam shed the ugly garments of ancient mortality, and clothed himself in a holy robe of truth, which was in no wise polluted by the passion. And I was troubled, I cried unto the Lord, and the God of my salvation hearkened unto me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Recognizing thee as God on the favor of Christ, the glorious apostles, marveling God down their knees. The holy apostle of Christ, Matthias, pray to God for us. Thou becamest to God by adoption, deified by divine union, receiving pristine rays of light from God. And now as to him in the faith and cleanse the earth of the darkness of idolatry. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lo, every prophecy of the sacred prophets is contained in thee, the disciple. For thou wast an eyewitness, imitator, and apostle of him whom thou didst proclaim of old and Matthias, servant of God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, we the faithful, call thee the noetic sanctuary. The untouchable mercy seat, the golden lampstand, the spiritual table bearing the bread of life. And I was troubled, I cried unto the Lord, and the God of my salvation hearkened unto me.
With the flood of thy divine wisdom that is to dry up the torrent of falsehood of glorious one, and with the torrent of sustenance thou hast given drink to those who cry with faith, blessed art thou, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By the power of God Almighty, thou didst set it not the wiles of the enemy before the face of thine advance, O Apostle, and the mountains and hills of ungodliness were shattered, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Behold the virgin of whom the great Isaiah said in the spirit that she would conceive in her womb and give birth unto the God to whom we chant. O Lord God, blessed art thou. <coughs> this children in Babylon consumed by zeal divine, and fully trampled the tyrant in the flame underfoot, and cast into the midst of the fire, be you they chanted, and bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. With the other one with me, Christ who upholds all things by his hand, hath with his all pure feet, ascended that table, where his face filled with radiance, bright and redeemed to the sun. And showed forth those of highest among the law and those <laughs> Bless the Lord, are you works of the Lord, the Holy Apostle of Christ, which is highest for the God for us. As the mouth of God, thou didst snatch from the throat of the slayer of men, those who we had truly slaughtered and made to for the mouth of the one, and with the labor of regeneration, thou didst bring them to the world, chanting and teaching the be people exalted supremely for all ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. And thou didst show thyself to be a heaven of the word, declaring the declaring the divine glory of the only begotten, almost wise of thine, thou lightning flash of grace, seeker of the lost, left hand of the divine life, initiate of ineffable mysteries, whom we come together with gladness, but now the of the ages of ages of men. In manner transcending nature, didst thou conceive in manner past the counting, thou gavest birth to the creator of human nature, who, though inseparable from the Father, became man of the Jesus, him that doth all creation of him, chanting, he children bless, he priest, him, he people and all to bring you for all ages. We praise you, bless you, worship the Lord, and praising and exalting him supremely for all ages. Your children in Babylon consumed by zeal divine, and for the chapel retired in the flame underfoot, and cast into the midst of the fire, be through the chanted, bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Hail to God's mother, the wise, the Lord's magnifying song, the Lord has magnified the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, for all. Filled the hungry with good things, 
that the rich he has sent to empty away, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very day of Jehovah's seed, who he magnified. He had hope and his servant to trial, in remembrance of his mercy. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever, who are wonderful than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos he do he magnify. Thy birth giving was shown to be in the rough, God came forth from thy womb, how good on earth as a mortal, and how great men. Wherefore he all magnified thee as the Theotokos. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. And having seen new and all glorious things, and heard the voice of the Father on Tamar, the servants of the word cried out, This is our Savior, the prototype of the image. The Holy Apostle of Christ, Matthias, pray to God for us. Having traversed the sea of life with the sail of the cross of blessed one, thou hast reached the harbor of peace and thine uttermost desire. And rejoicing now, thou standest with the choir of the apostles, entreating him who loveth mankind in our behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy tongue hath been shown to be a truly radiant lamp, a shining beacon of the Spirit, which consumeth foreign doctrines, burneth up holy and fire, a wise one, and shineth forth light upon those who sleep in the darkness of ignorance, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone among women hast brought an end to the curse of the first created, O bride of God, having given birth in the flesh to the infinite one who became circumscribed, and thou hast restored the bounds of nature, O undefiled one, and by thine all-glorious mediation has united those things which of old were sundered. And I have shown to thee in Torah, talking forth from thy womb, appear on the earth as a Praise Him, O Son and Moon, praise Him, O Stars and Light, praise Him, He heavens of heavens and the waters that are above the heavens. 
Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spake and they came to be. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He had set an ordinance and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all ye abysses, fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempest, which perform his word, the mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, the beasts and all the cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all the judges of the earth, young men and virgins, elders with the younger, let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw an eye unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praises in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him, let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance, for the table and the psaltery, let them chant unto him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throats, and two-edged swords shall be in their hands. They do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the peoples. They bind their kings with fetters, and the nobles with manacles of iron. His glory shall be to all his saints. On Mount Tabor, the glory of the Trinity was manifestly made known. When thou wast transfigured, O my Lord and Savior. Praise ye God in his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. At the transfiguration, a cloud of light was manifestly extended, filling with amazement. The foremost of the divine disciples. Praise the Lord, mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. The alliance and Moses stood before the Lord at thy transfiguration, and the Father for witness, speaking from heaven. Praise him with the sorcery and heart, with the rod of gifts of his from and forth, from the abyss of his glory. O thy wondrous Matthias, obedient to the behest of the teacher, who reproved and had understanding in all things, and show thee to be an apostle, and an honor divine herald of his unapproachable divinity. O most blessed one, praise him with strings and flute, the effulgence of the Spirit descended upon thee. In a fiery vision of blessed one, and gave thee a divine vessel, which quickly driveth away the gloom of the godliness, and thou dost illumine the world with the radiance of thy most wise words, O initiate of the mysteries. Adornment of the Apostles, blessed witness of God. Praise the wisdom of the jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. He illuminating those who sit in darkness. With the lightning flashes of thy preaching, O glorious one, thou didst show them for his children. Through faith of God the Master, whose sufferings and death thou didst imitate, and of whose glory thou art heir, in that thou art wise and divinely eloquent, and a disciple of the truth. Glory the second tune, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsaking earthly things, I just follow after Christ. What better 
by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and thou wast sent by him unto the nations who were perishing, to convert men to the light of divine knowledge, O Apostle Matthias, and having finished the struggles of thy divine sufferings and divers torments, Thou didst commit thy soul to Christ, him do thou entreat, O most blessed one, that he grant us great mercy. For now, now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. For now to Abraham, Moses, and Elias, the of God, who had become incarnate of the Virgin Mary, for the deliverance of men. Glory to the flesh of the sublime, glory to God in the highest, and on the feast of the love of men, we praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. God save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify his thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, in have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. O holy Apostle Matthias, intercede with us. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou wast transfigured on the mountain, O Christ God, showing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Do thou shine upon us, sinners, so thine everlasting light, 
Christ our God. To
the days of our years and their span may be three score years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and out of fear of thee, do we count thine anger? So make thy right hand known to me, and to them that are in their heart are instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad. In all our days let us be glad, for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the work of our hands do thou guide aright upon us, yea, the work of our hands do thou guide aright. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path, one will thou come unto me. I have walked in the innocence of my heart, in the midst of my house, I have known awful things before my eyes, the workers and transgressions I have hated. The crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me, as for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him whose eye was proud and his heart and satiate, I did not eat. My eyes were upon the faithful of the land that they might sit with me. A man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwell not in the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things prosper not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land that are to destroy out of the sea of the war, all of them that were bringing to thee. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Oga. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Oga. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Oga. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou was transfigured on the mountain, O Christ God, who did show thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. May thy everlasting light shine forth also upon us in which to the prayers of the Pantocles, O bestower of light, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O holy Apostle Matthias, entreat the merciful God that he grant to our souls remission of transgressions both now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace, heaven, for thou hast gone forth the sun of righteousness, paradise, for thou hast blossomed forth the flower of immortality, a virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt, your mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, the God of all, for thou entreated to save our souls. My steps to thou direct according to thy saying, let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may have thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, who out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit me, O our infirmities, for thy name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And we us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. Amen. On the mountain was thou transfigured, and thy disciples beheld thy glory as far as they could bear it, O Christ God, that when they would see thee crucified, they would comprehend that thy suffering was voluntary, and proclaim to the world that thou art of a true the effulgence of the Father. Whatever, see 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 Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, for long suffering, by decent mercy, most compassionate, and most the righteousness, mercy on sinners, all to all the salvation for the promise of the things to come. 
evil, award our prayers to the sour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make taste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us above with thy holy angels and guardians, and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the Word, the very day of the Lord, to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and God's thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, to enlighten us and sanctify us, every man that cometh into the world, let the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, so that we may see the unapproachable light, and guide our steps in the doing of thy commandments, through the intercessions of thy most pure mother, and of all thy saints, Amen.
mercy not in princes and sons of men whom there is no salvation. The spirit shall go forth and he shall return to his earth, and that day all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, who spoke in the Lord his God, which made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executeth judgment for the wrong, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord looseth the fair, but the Lord maketh wise the blind. The Lord set the right to fall, and the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinner shall be destroyed. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, and thy God, O Zion, and generation and generation, both now and ever unto thee, is the fate of the man. Only begotten Son, the word of God, who art immortal, yet did stain by our salvation to be incarnate, the Holy Ghost, O Christ, and ever virgin Mary, and without change, is to become man, with the supply of Christ God, counting down death by death. Thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In thy kingdom, and of us, O Lord, and thy promise in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall enter the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be cured. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall you rally and persecute you, and shall say, O men, of evil against you, falsely for my sake. Rejoice in the exceeding God, for great is reward in the heavens. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and when and the days of the days of men. Let us attend to ye, Spirit, to all. And to thy spirit, wisdom. The Prokeman are in the fourth tone. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. And in the eighth tongue there a sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words into the ends of the world. And there a sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the earth. The reading is from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, my joy is the joy of you all, for out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. But if any have caused grief, he hath not grieved me, <coughs> but in part, that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment which was inflicted of many, so that contrariwise ye ought rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such an one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm your love toward him, for to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything to which to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgive it I in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Titus my brother. But taking my leave of them, I went from thence into Macedonia. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. For we, for we are unto God, and sweet savour of Christ. In those days the apostles returned unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem the Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zelotes, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, 
with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about an hundred and twenty men and brethren. This scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. <clears throat> Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of the resurrection. And they appointed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Eustace, and Matthias, and they prayed and said, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Jesus, Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. And to thy spirit, the Alleluia in the eighth tone, thine of the heavens and thine is the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is the people that know jubilation. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the first tone, the heavens shall confess thy wonders, O Lord, in thy truth, in the congregation of saints. Jews that came to him, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe well, unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass the sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe well, unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. <coughs> whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, but whither is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift? Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. He that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. <clears throat> At that time Jesus called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, Neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither two coats of peace. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. 
And whosoever will not receive you when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Cried, and the Lord heard them. <coughs> the Lord is 
mind, and the Rabbi of Thy heart, and the say of the Holy Spirit, many other tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keep all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall be wrong. The Lord redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will be wrong with the end. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for now and ever 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 he cries to our true God, who will not take Lord, who was transfigured in glory before his holy disciples and apostles, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the mediation of his and the power of his souls. And the holy glorious and all praised apostle, Matthias, and the other holy glorious and all praised apostles, and the holy great martyr, the other ones of layman, and the holy righteousness of God, the king and honor of all the saints, and the mercy us and save us, be his good and lover of mankind.
the four point diverse miracles to the face given here to Mahan, with the eye blindness he watched over these people, bound before the Lord Icon, brain of compunction and asking, healing aid and sensitivity, submit before the Lord our God that we're going to treat these, and ask for material offenses for our souls, and will not dare to raise our eyes to the heights of heaven because of our transgressions, with the dry heart of the spirit of humility, we call upon thee, the merciful mediator, and accessible to the master for our sins. The vows received to him the faith to fill him to give him the dispel the passion. Therefore we beseech thee, this and this not only though we be, but we believe in us and thee. Be thou our comforter of its grief, physician to him of suffering, be visible to thee. A speedy protector for the endangered, there is no revision for those whose eyes are afflicted. Ready in our assessment for their pains and sufferings, and their illnesses. Through thy mediation to obtain all things profitable for salvation. Having acquired praise, mercy to thy prayers, the Lord God. For they glorify God, the source and restorer of all blessings, who is glorified in the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever now, to the ages of ages. <coughs> Wisdom, all that's worth the utter foes, save us. The wonder of the cherubim, the ark of their own glory, and the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God our word. Thank you. 